then it could be due to rash, any heart disease, abdominal pain, under like appendicitis, pyelonephritis, hepatitis, urinary tract infection, diarrhea, that is the acute gastroenteritis like features. There are five red flag signs. Number one is fever, less than three months of age. Actually, this stain came in the recalls. What should we do? We will give the uh, admission to the baby. If the baby needs pediatric intensive care unit, so we will give admission to the PICU, then we will give the antibiotic and intravenous fluid, okay? These are the febrile child. In pediatric world, whenever you have found a child who is febrile, what are the important points you should keep in your mind? And depending on that point, you have to go through for asking the history, previous history, and you have to look for the signs and symptoms, okay? So if the ch baby child is febrile, either it could be due to upper respiratory tract infection because it, is, because it is the most common cause. Another one is otitis media, tonsillitis. Either it could be due to pneumonia, septicemia, then it could be due to meningitis, meningitis and encephalitis. Then it could be due to rash, any heart disease, abdominal pain, under like appendicitis, pyelonephritis, hepatitis, urinary tract infection, diarrhea. That is the acute gastroenteritis like features. And the osteomyelitis and the septic arthritis and the prolonged fever, which is associated with the rash and prolonged fever under evaluation. Okay? Okay. So if we have found the um, uh, febrile child in our ward, so we have uh, so we have to go through this pattern. Okay. So there are some uh, red flag features suggesting serious illness. You have received the patient, you have taken the history, and you will do the examination. Okay. So after that, what are the red flag that suggesting the serious illness and need for urgent investigation and treatment? These are recall, okay, mark here. So what are the first red flag? If the baby is less than three months of age and uh, the baby has fever, but the temperature crosses over 38 degrees Celsius temperature, see, just breaking down this word. Baby less than three months of age and he has fever and but the temperature crosses over 38 degrees Celsius temperature. That's the red flag. Okay. And uh, the baby needs immediate management, immediate admission and immediate IV antibiotic. Okay. The second one is the color of the baby. The color of the baby may be pale, may be mottled or may be cyanosed. So, Whenever the, we see the color of the baby is pale, it could be due to shock, okay? Whenever we see the mottled, there may be septicemia, there may be respiratory distress, and whenever it is cyanosed, it may be due to congenital cyanotic heart disease. So these are also a red flag sign. Number three is there is level of consciousness is reduced. That means the baby is drowsy, sleepy, there is neck stiffness. But in case of infant or the uh, child less than three months, it's very difficult to specify the neck stiffness. So that's why we have to uh, check for the altered level of consciousness. The baby is so much lethargic, baby is sleepy, baby is drowsy, and there is bulge anterior fontanelle, which is most important for the baby. Bulge anterior fontanelle, there is continuous convulsion that is status epilepticus and there is any focal neurological sign or seizure, etc. Okay, these are also a red flag sign. Number four is there is any significant respiratory distress like the baby have labored breathing. There is uh, obstruction of the respiratory system. So that's why this is the significant respiratory distress. It's also a red flag sign and ultimately shock. These are the red flag sign. So there are five red flag sign. Number one is fever, less than three months of age. Actually, this stain came in the recalls. Whenever a child comes to you, 
2.5 months age comes to you with a fever which uh, crosses one time over 38 degree Celsius temperature, but he has no cough and cold. What would you do? In uh, you have seen this baby in OPD, as because the baby is less than three months of age and the baby's fever is more than 38 degree Celsius temperature. Although the baby is now little bit playful, but you have to do immediate investigation and you have to start the immediate treatment. Okay, admission then antibiotic. This is also a guideline we will read about the sepsis okay so these are the actually these are the uh, also features of the sepsis but we will see some sepsis septic screening so before reading the septic screening i want to tell you something what is sepsis sepsis is the presence of multiplying bacteria in the bloodstream actually it is called the septicemia not sepsis presence of multiplying bacteria in the bloodstream is a sepsis Okay, what are the causative organism? Now you have to tell me what are the causative organism in less than three months of age causing septicemia? Tell me, please. We have just gone through this. What are the organism responsible for the less than three months age septicemia? Less than three months of age, the group beta streptococci, E. coli, and the and listeria. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so after that, we have read the definition of the sepsis or septicemia. Then we have read the organism that causing the septicemia. Okay, so you have to go through the first chart. Uh, very carefully. So after that, what are the signs, symptoms of septicemia and uh, what you have found from the history and what you are seen on examination, okay? From history, you have taken, uh, there is a history of maybe fever, there may be history of poor feeding, there may be history of extensive irritability, there may be a history of acute gastroenteritis like features like diarrhea, vomiting, and there may be a history of uh, focal neurological sign like bulge anteriofontanelli, high grade fever, there is hypotonia, there is actually seizure or convulsion type like features. Some features which predisposing condition like a sickle cell disease or immune deficiency, these are also you have taken from the history. Okay, now on examination, what have you found? Okay, on examination of the sept septic baby, what we have found? We have found either there is fever, that is increased temperature or decreased temperature, number one. Okay, it, if it is hypothermia, it's also a sign of septicemia. Okay, so hypothermia and hyperthermia. Number one. Number two is there is heart rate is increased and along with there is respiratory rate is also increased. So there is tachypnea and tachycardia. Okay. So first one is hypothermia or hyperthermia. Then one this heart tachypnea and tachycardia. Number three is there is low blood pressure. That is hypotension. Number four, there is presence of a purpuric crash. Okay, there is presence of a purpuric rash. Can you tell me one significant rash uh, specific for the one specific septicemia? Have you uh, heard this? This is actually so important. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, there is. So in case of purpuric rash in uh, septicemia, we have to uh, take this as uh, the non-blanching purpuric rash, okay? Non-blanching means whenever you try to compress the rash by a glass slide, suppose this is the rash, okay? And these are the glass slide. You want to compress this rash, but it will not disappear. So it is non-blanching rash, okay? So these are the significantly specific for the meningococcal septicemia, okay? And number three, five is there is presence of shock. Actually, there is uh, tachypnea, tachycardia, and decreased blood pressure also denoted by the shock. And ultimately, number six is there is multi-organ failure. 
So on examination, you have found either there is hypothermia or hyperthermia, tachypnea or tachycardia, and there is decreased blood pressure, purpuric rash, or there is maybe non-blanching purpuric rash, which is significantly present in the meningococcal septicemia. So now, any child comes to you less than three months of age, okay? Just less than three months of age. He has so many complaints like fever, cough and cold, respiratory distress, and the baby sometimes may go on the features of, present with the features of shock, so many things. What are the three important DD you should keep in your mind? Now tell me, what are the first important DD less than three months of age? The baby is coming to you with a fever, poor feeding, less urine output, and uh, respiratory distress, and so, so, so many uh, complaints. So if the baby is less than three months of age, what is our first differential diagnosis? Tell me, please. Septicemia. Okay, the first one is septicemia, thank you. What will be the second one? I have one in shock. Actually, uh, shock, okay, we will set shock. Uh, shock actually, shock, uh, yeah, 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 shock, shock. actually uh, included in septicemia, septicemic features. But uh, if you have seen, then I am including it. Okay, number third one. Okay. UTI. UTI also included in the septicemia. Okay, just tell me. I have gone through the focal neurological feature that also goes under the septicemia. So septicemia is a broad term including so many diagnoses. So our second DD should be, it could be the congenital heart disease, okay? There is respiratory distress, there is tachypnea, tachycardia, the child is not responding. After diagnosis the septicemia, I will go, f I will go with you, see? Less than three months of age, you have all said that it is a septicemia. Excellent. So, we, uh, what, if, what should we do? We will give the uh, admission to the baby. If the baby needs pediatric intensive care unit, so we will give admission to the PICU, then we will give the antibiotic and intravenous fluid, okay? After that, if the baby is not responding, so what should we think about the second DD? It should be congenital heart disease, okay? So after that, what should we go do? Maybe suppose it could be a congenital cyanotic or acinetic, whatever, and we will do the treatment according to that, and we'll give the prostaglandin. So and so things, so many things, uh, the sildenafil or the milrinol, whatever we have given. So after that, the baby is still not responding. What will be our third DD? Actually, uh, there is some, our third DD should be the metabolic disorder. We have to go for this metabolic screening, okay? Now, we will do, after diagnosis, this is a case of sepsis. We will do some septic screening, right? So, for the septic screening, first one, we should do the blood culture, okay? Then the full blood count, including the differential white cell count. And third one is the acute phase reactant, that is the CRP. And fourth one is urine sample. Why do we consider the urine sample as a septic screening? Why? Because in pediatric population, the UTI is one of the most common cause of the septicemia. Because less than three months of child cannot, won't be able to say you that, yeah, I have dysuria, I have burning maturation, so it's a non-verbal case. So that's why we have to exclude all the things at once. Then we will do the urine sample, that is urine RE and urine culture and sensitivity, okay? Second thing is we have to exclude some other cause like if the baby have cough and cold it or you will do the chest x-ray and if the baby have any altered level of consciousness like drowsy, like lethargic and extremely, extremely, excessively crying, extremely feeling unwell, then we will do the lumbar puncture or the CSF study. Rest are no longer need. So we will read just do these two things, okay? These four and these two, okay. So in case of sepsis, early recognition, 
मैनेजमेंट एंड आई वी एंटीबायोटिक इज द लाइफ सेविंग ट्रीटमेंट इन केस ऑफ सेप्टिक शॉक द बेबी मे नीड टू गेट एडमिट इन द पेडियट्रिक आई सी यू एंड आफ्टर दैट देर इज मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द शॉक एंड अदर मल्टी ऑर्गन फेल्यूर ओके सो दीज आर ऑल अबाउट द सेप्सिस नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट विद द मेनजाइटिस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग मेनजाइटिस I want to tell you something that meningitis, as because the meningitis is so important, that's why I want to try to study it from the guideline, pediatric guideline. Okay, the pediatric guideline will be provided to you in the mentor's note, inshallah. So, pediatric guideline from the pediatric, as the pediatric guideline is pretty much big, that's why I cannot accumulate in this sector. Okay, so 